the New York Stock Exchange, where traders had their temperatures checked. Coronavirus fears led to another terrible day for stocks Monday. Amid growing fears, the world may be headed into a new global recession. Consumer spending makes up 68 percent of the U.S. economy, and investors are worried the pandemic will force Americans to tighten their belts. CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger joins us again with some tips on how to cope with all this financial uncertainty. Jill, good morning. I mean, we, we've heard good business morning. owners this morning say, Eric Repair, the chef, I, I just can't keep my my em employees, you know, during this, when I have to shut my restaurants down, you know, business owners saying we're just we're not trying to make any money. We're just trying to stay in business. So a lot of people are sitting home worried about whether they're going to have a job. How do you prioritize what you're going to do with your money at this point? I think we're in conservation mode. And this is a really important concept because even if you're lucky enough to have some money already set aside for an emergency, what you need to do is go back to basics and let's look at your monthly bills that you have, right? You're gonna prioritize. The most important bills for you to pay are food and shelter, no matter what. We used to throw utilities in there, but I wanna be clear that many states and many municipalities are right now banning utility shutdowns. Mm. So that's not your number one bill. Again, food and shelter, then list everything else. And if you can make some partial payments, that's great. But food and shelter, those are your priorities. Well, Jill, let's talk about the everything else because we've got record credit card debt in this country. We've got car loans in this country, mortgages, uh, student debt. I mean, which of those do you prioritize or do you pay them at all at this point? Well, I think that, again, once we're done with food and shelter, then some utilities, maybe insurance, maybe you've got some medical and pharmaceutical needs, then we are talking about some of the debt. Now, here's some interesting news. The FDIC sent a note out to all of the major banking institutions suggesting, not mandating, but suggesting that they do something that's called forbearance, which means... Uh -huh back off guys people are struggling and that backing off period can mean waiving fees making sure there's no late payments mm -hmm. extending the deadlines and what i think is important right now is to make sure that in those debts that you know again that comes after the priorities a little bit can go a long way don't forget the president also said that all interest on federal student loans so that's a 1.6 trillion dollars in outstanding loans all interest is suspended. I think there's going to be a lot of cleanup after, but I wouldn't be rushing to pay down those debts anytime soon. Yeah, you answered a lot of questions I was thinking. Many Americans are now working from home. Is there anything that the Internet providers can do to help on that end? I love this piece of it because this is a, a new normal, right? And now we're hearing that many Internet service providers are doing a lot of things. They're providing access to low-income workers. They are making sure that they ramp up their speeds. They are also doing something that I think is important, which is suspending data caps, waiving those late fees that mm. often will occur. People cannot afford to have their Internet service shut down or delayed or slowed down. This is incredibly important. It's a great part of the story because the providers did this on their own. They didn't need a lot of cajoling. Yeah, if the only thing you can do to get in touch with friends and family, call grandma is FaceTime. You don't want the data to, to get in the way. So that's a great one there. Uh, Jill, thank you very much. Absolutely. Sure.